Welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about an important AI tool which will make your literature review very easy and it will summarize the references, reference papers in seconds. So let us uh, discover what are the important options available in that particular AI tool and how it will do that summarization, whether that summarization can be useful for our research article preparation or not. So these are the things we are going to discuss in this video. So before going to this video, the, this video an important announcement from our channel is that we are going to conduct online workshop on research paper writing using chat gpt and ai toolbox so the main objective of this workshop is to explore what are the different ai tools which will be useful for our research article preparation and also we are going to explore a live demo of how to generate content using that ai tools and also how to use chat gpt for research article preparation and what are the important chat gpt prompts which will be very very useful for research article preparation so these are the things we are going to explore in this workshop don't forget to register our online workshop on research paper writing using chat gpt and ai toolbox see you on on, the, on this workshop the link for the registration of this workshop will be given in the description of this video so don't forget to register our workshop Another important announcement is that we are going to conduct another workshop regarding MATLAB. So you can have a live workshop on advanced control and energy system modeling. So the important topics which we are going to cover in this workshop is that so optimization of PAD control parameters for DC to DC converters. So how to design LNC parameter for buck and boost converters and open loop simulation next designing PAD controller parameter for closed loop control of that DC to DC converter. So next one is that modeling of grid connected PV system. So how to model grid connected PV system. Next to modeling of maximum power point tracking algorithm. Next to PV grid inverter. The third section is that modeling of PV based EV charging station. So how to make PV based EV charging station using MATLAB. So these are the important things we are going to discover in this workshop so if you are interested in this live matlab workshop so don't forget to subscribe and support and register our online workshop on 7 10 2023 so see you on this workshop the link of this workshop also given in the description of this video so moving on to our today's video so the AI tool what we are going to discuss today is that Shirley. So it is a AI summarizer. You can do it for free. So just click on that start for free. So you will be getting a dashboard like this here. So after this as like that we have seen many of the AI tools which will summarize the paper and also we can ask questions and also they it will generate automatic questions from that PDF as like all that AI tool. So Shirley also does the same. So let us see how it will generate better summarize, summarized version of the particular paper and also whether it will generate any automatic questions or not. So in order to explore that what I am going to do is so I am going to drop a file here. So this is the file I am going to drop. So this is a file related with ant colony optimization. So it will take 5 to 10 seconds. So before going to the going to study the summary of the paper. So you must uh, know what is the topic of the paper I have uploaded. <laughs> Here you can see the topic of the paper I have uploaded is that a new optimization. Sorry, a new approach for dynamic fuzzy logic parameter tuning and colony optimization and its application in fuzzy control of mobile robot. So this is what I have uh, uploaded. So you can see the title even better here. So this is the title, a new approach for dynamic fuzzy logic parameter tuning in and colony optimization and its application in fuzzy control of mobile robot. So after uploading that go on to that particular tool. So you'll be getting a summary of the particular paper here. So here uh, you can we can uh, just explore that summary so the document discusses the use of fuzzy logic controllers in complex processes that can be analyzed by conventional quantitative techniques the paper explores a new method of diversity control in <coughs> ant colony optimization 
on presence here performance analysis on several TSP instances. The main idea is to prevent a total convergence through dynamic adjustment of certain parameters of the algorithm applied to the design fuzzy controllers. The rest of the paper is organized in sections that provide the overview of ACO, describe the performance analysis, present a new method parameter tuning using fuzzy logic and show some simulation measures. Yes, this uh, summary is good. It validates what are the important things available in this particular paper and also you can use this sentences in your literature review part of your research paper also. So you can use this one. So in for example say it is a reference to means in two it explores a new method of diversity control in ant colony optimization and presents a performance analysis of several TSP instances. So like that you can present here. If you want to know that paper even better, so you have to go for this option. So yeah, as like in many of the AA tools, it automatically generate questions in that particular AA tool. So here you can see how is fuzzy logic used to determine correct parameters for the fuzzy logic controller. So here is the question. So I am going to click that question. So let us see how it will answer uh, get uh, that is generate answer for that particular question. Yes, our answer is generated. Here you can see the document explains that determining the correct parameters for the fuzzy logic control is a complex problem and a task that consumes considerable time. To solve this problem, the document proposes a new method of parameter tuning using fuzzy logic. The method of fuzzy logic controller is useful when processes are too complex and analysis for conventional quantitative techniques or when the available sources of information are interpreted qualitati qualitatively in inaccurate and uncertain way. The document also mentioned the use of ACO for selection of those parameters. So here a valid answer is generated from that question. So why I am studying that full answer means so you will be getting an idea how much amount of content or whether the answer is va va valid or not. So you will be knowing about that. So this is the important thing. So here you can see there are different options. So you can simplify the source or highlight uh, the important information in the source or say mood of the source, summarize the source, enrich the, enhance the source. For example, I want a highlight. So I am going to click highlight important information in the source. Yes, you will be getting the points. The document uh, discusses a new approach of uh, the, as like what the uh, that is your uh, PDF you have uploaded, the reference paper you have uploaded. So it will give around 1, 2, 3, around 7 points, 7 to 8 points uh, related important highlights of the particular paper. So this uh, option will also be very useful for you to analyze your research paper and you can use that particular content for your research article preparation also. So here uh, or else if you want to ask questions in that particular PDF means you can ask me a question about your document. So what you can ask is for example I am going to explore why ant colony optimization is preferred. So I am go going to ask a question like this why ant colony optimization is preferred. So According to the document, the ant colony optimization is preferred because it is inspired by the foraging behavior of ant colonies aimed to solve discrete optimization problems. The behavior of ACO algorithm is highly dependent on the values defined for its parameters and changing the parameters at runtime or depending on the search progress may improve the performance of the algorithm. Additionally, controlling the dynamics of the convergence to maintain a balance between exploration and exploitation is critical for good performance in ACO. So it is a better advantages of that ant colony optimization. So by using in this paper. So uh, as like you can ask many questions what you want related with that particular document. So you can ask uh, uh, better technical questions uh, with that particular document. So here you can see the citations. So here you can see where that uh, particular uh, that is particular points have been taken you can see in page number one it is mentioned it as page number one so, so it will be a better option for the people who are doing research uh, the, especially the the starting period of those who are in starting period of research can use this kind of tool to analyze your reference paper hope you will uh, 
download all the reference paper and use it to uh, get main points from that reference paper in order to make a comprehensive literature review. So from that literature review only you, you will be going to identify the research gap. So in order to make that process very easily not making tedious so you can use this kind of tool to analyze your reference paper so and also you will be having different options as i said simplify highlight sentiment summarize enrich critic key so these are the different options available in this particular ai tool so you can go on and explore these different option also so i have explored summarize and highlights option so if you want you will you can explore different options and you can ask whatever the questions you want so it will generate it, it won't questions so you can uh, click on that questions to get answers or else as like I have asked for so you can ask for any questions in that particular paper you have uploaded it will generate answers where that answers uh, present in that particular paper as like that so you can make use of this option in this Shirley AA to analyze your uh, re reference papers very better and make literature review very easy so hope this video will be very useful for you Thank you for watching our videos. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Have a nice day. Thank you.